for questions. <coughs> you guys ever won a game by 69 points? No. Let's, I guess going through your head in a game like that, when it gets that lopsided so early, I mean, how do you keep the, the pedal going? And I guess does it change your approach at all while you're out there winning by that much? I mean, we, at halftime, we just um, preached to just finish the game strong and not worry about the score. Nana, how much fun is it for you to, to get some extended time and, and kind of get hot there in the second half? Um, it's always fun, you know. First off, all glory goes to God, but my teammates, they just kept encouraging me, my coaches as well. Um, I was just out there just having fun, you know. You kind of just feel like shooting practice? You guys seem like you're pretty open all day. Uh, yeah, I had a lot of open shots. I missed a few of those, but you know, once again, the team they just kept encouraging me, and I just had to keep getting them up. Glenn, coach said that he was a little concerned about the shooting based off the Iowa State scrimmage and the exhibition. Do you think you guys answered some questions tonight? Oh well, yes, but I mean, it's just the first game. You know, that one the good team, so you know, we're just gonna keep working each and every day. James, how nice is it to see guys like Nana and some of those bench guys get extensive minutes and have good production the way they did? I mean, it's great. Uh, he been working all summer uh, on his overall game, not just his shot, and tonight was his night. Do you have anything that you feel like you need to work on? Like, anything that you take away from that game and you think, all right, we need to fix this and that for, for the next time, or what's the mentality going I mean, we just got to work on everything. Um, that was a it was a good win for us to get our feet wet, but um, we still got to work on every, our overall game, offense and defense. Hey, Glenn, is that maybe a glimpse of what we could see from you this season, hitting some of those clutch shots to get the team going from beyond the arc? Oh uh, yes, I'm just doing whatever you know, whatever the team needs from me, you know. I'm going to be aggressive. Coach Miles wants me to be aggressive. So um, that's just one thing I'm going to do, be aggressive more and try to get my teammates open here and make open shots. Coach, anything else for the players, guys? Okay. Thank you. Uh, I thought that Brady Hyman did a very nice job. Uh, and Nana Kenton, you know, I think people can see what we saw. And, you know, he's never really had a chance to show out. So it was good for him to get uh, some reps up and down the floor, and you can see why we like him. And then, I, you know, I look at those other guys like, you know, how's Glenn going to respond and what's going on? I thought Glenn was really good. James Palmer put up a great line. And, uh, and so after that, you know, were we solid defensively? Just the checking the boxes. And I thought we did a lot of things right tonight. You know, sometimes after a game like this, you don't feel good, whatever. But I, I thought our guys just hung in there and kept doing the right things for a long time. That relieve any of your concerns about the shooting? No, no. <laughs> I mean we're day by day, and and I, I I like the way we shoot it. I've seen us do it in practice. I know what our numbers are in practice. Well, uh, you know I think it's going to be one of those things where we're going to have some tough nights, but we're going to have some good nights. And um, and but 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 like uh, like even Brady put one up late, and I'm fine with that. Even though it maybe the end result wasn't what we'd hope, but uh, you know. I think he's he's got to be able to take those uh, because he's going to end up being a stretch four, stretch five kind of guy for us. The guys in here were, were pretty businesslike. It's, Who was it? It's James and Nana and Glenn, and not obviously not three of your your most vocal guys. But does that just kind of speak to maybe the mentality of, of this team a little bit? Uh, yeah, I think that you know they just approach things very businesslike, and you know sometimes I feel like they're casual, and that bothers me. I'm not the casual, and uh, and so. So, you know, that, that's a little bit them, but I think that, you know, it's on to the next and, and, uh, uh, and we're happy to play well, get the win, and now we're ready, you know, to go get Southeastern Louisiana. Do you nitpick the film? Like, I mean, no. like, what do you do with this? I mean, I'll grade it, you know, but, but, you know, I think the things that I'll look for are like discipline. You know, if, if you're playing, you know, like, okay, how'd you play when you're tired? You know, what? How do you play through that moment? You know, it's, it's going to be things like that. So if I nitpick, that will be it. But it won't be, you know, uh, 
it'll be stuff like that. Did you like the way James came back? Yeah, I thought, like James, I thought James was really good. I thought he's on the attack, downhill. You know, I thought we gave him a little bit of help, but um, we were able to mix defenses and, and worked on some things that, you know, we actually probably as many possessions tonight as we have in practice on some of that stuff, but that's all right, too. Is this the earliest you've ever put the jacket back on in the first <laughs> half of a game? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, probably. It's been a while. Now, I've been around a long time, so... Uh, but uh, I've been on the other side of this thing too, and and uh, I've got a lot of respect for Mississippi Valley State and those guys, and um, and I know they've got a tough road to hoe. I mean, they're on their way to Lubbock, and so uh, we we appreciate them being here. But we're we're looking forward to Sunday.